<laughs> Tom, great to have you with us. I was talking to one of your former college teammates this week, Trevor Maddich, and I asked him about you, and he said, he introduced me to the taste of dirt. <laughs> I mean, if, if anything epitomizes your squad, it's that, right? People who introduce people to dirt. Yeah, I think that's our mentality, <laughs> our culture. Uh, you know, physicality is our calling card, and, and uh, we try to bring it every week. Coach, they just talked about a Royal Rumble. Now, Luke, <laughs> Luke Fickle would gnaw on as somebody's Achilles, but I think you would do the same <laughs> if you had to. Yeah, Luke's got that wrestling background. He does. Yeah, 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 but he, he didn't work out, out. He didn't work out for 4,000 straight days like you have. But let's talk about you, the culture, and this fan base here. Now, obviously, 80 straight sellouts here at this beautiful campus on this beautiful stadium. Whenever you think about the environment and the culture that's been built over your tenure here over the last 19 years, what are your thoughts on this incredible student section? What are your thoughts on the environment that Oregon's walking into today? Well, I'll tell you what, I think the Mush is the best student section in the country. Hey, but, hey! Uh, <laughs> we roll about 7,000 deep each, uh, each home game, and, and uh, what a great environment in Rice Eccles, you know, between the Mush and the, and the crowd. And as you mentioned, uh, that uh, sellout streak spans some 12 plus years. So it's, uh, it's been great, it's been awesome for our players. They feed off that crowd, and that's a big reason for our success. Coach, I've had a chance to follow you and your program for a long time. The one thing that I think is interesting is you've always recruited and created a culture of guys with a chip on their shoulder. Last couple of years, a lot of exposure, Rose Bowl appearances, a lot of notoriety for the program. How do you maintain that edge? How do you maintain that chip on your shoulder with now people being much more familiar with you and your brand? Yeah, our brand is growing. There's no doubt about it, but that, uh, you know, our mentality is ingrained in the culture the, the blue collar uh, bring your lunch bell to work every day all the cliches you want to you know mention yeah. as far as that goes but but uh, we recruit players that we think will fit our culture and when they get to utah you know they will become us we won't become them that's, that's yeah the mantra that i love that a lot. love that you talked about the edge that coach has we talk about the culture here but i want to switch gears a little bit i want to talk about your relationship with your grandkids what do they mean to you oh they mean everything i got nine right now and and uh, the 10th is on the way in February. If you want action on it, 12 is the over-under. Okay. I think that's about where we're going to end up. <laughs> but, uh, they're, uh, they're awesome. And fortunately, eight of the nine are right here in Salt Lake City within huh, 10 great. minutes. Got a son that coaches for the Kansas City Chiefs. He's got the other one. So. Got you. Pretty yes, good, sir. pretty good lineage. That's a pretty good football team. Yes, sir. Yeah, they're not, <laughs> they're not bad. Yeah. You know, toughness defines the program, but you have to show people that you care. And and the situation that Utah football endured with the tragic deaths of Ty Jordan and Aaron Lowe, and, and they're remembered with the moment of loudness at the end of the third quarter, and it's uh, evident in the locker room for you uh, every time you walk in there. How does their legacy continue to resonate with this team and impact you? Well, first of all, we want to keep them in the forefront of all our minds and the players' minds. There's, you know, as each year goes by, there's less and less players that, uh, that knew who they were, so we try to educate our guys and uh, they're, you know, all over in our building, uh, memorabilia of those two young men, and, and uh, you know, we sure miss them, but, but we try to keep their spirit alive as best we can. Coach, uh, we haven't even asked you about the game today. What's the key in your mind, both sides of the ball, maybe one key that stands out? Well, I think a couple of things. Number one, we got to win the line of scrimmage. We win the line of scrimmage, we got a great shot. That's uh, something that we do most weeks. Yes, you do. Not every week, but, but most weeks. And then secondly, you know, if we can get plus two in the turnover margin, which is not easy, Love our chances. Uh, you talk about a blue-collar culture, and obviously your sleeve was coming in on a Harley yesterday. <laughs> I appreciate you making time. This pig farmer epitomizes everything that is blue-collar, hard work, and kind of your program, right? I mean, he stepped in in incredible fashion with Cam rising out. What have you seen from him in his development? He's 5-0 and as your starter. Obviously, we're hoping for 6 today. Yeah. But what have you seen from your pig farm? Well, first of all, he's tough as nails. He's a two-time state wrestling champ. How many quarterbacks no, are none. state wrestling champs? And wow. so uh, one wow. of his junior and senior year. So he's got great toughness. You saw him dip his shoulder in that SC game last week when we had to have it. Uh, but he's getting better every week, feeling more comfortable, more confident. And he's a great leader. The players really rally around him. You're the first coach that I've ever sat next to that a thousand of their fans were chanting for them to take their shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a compliment. I think that's a compliment, Coach. I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah. Right. Well, if you've got one message to give to them, you can do it if you want to take your shirt off right now. <laughs> <laughs> you got a message for these people. I'm going to thank you. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. Here's Kyle Whittingham, head coach at Utah. Right, Kyle, thanks, thank coach. you so much, man, for being with us. Where do you live? Always Indy. appreciate it. Right. Maybe Utah. Kyle Whittingham. 